Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So in today's video, we are going to learn ARM 7 instructions. Yes, that's something that you all have been waiting for so long. Now, uh, students get very scared of this instruction set. When they start learning ARM 7 instructions, they look at the first instruction, that's move. Yes, that's familiar. We all know move instruction from the time we learned a single, the first processor. And then things start getting a little crazy. There is something called moves. Now students wonder if move moves, then what does moves do? Anyway, so then there is move EQ, then there is move EQS. Yeah, this is the kind of question they ask in the exam. So what do you get in the exam? Let me tell you why you need to know the instructions of ARM. You get a 10 mark question, which I call a jackpot. All my students in the classroom lectures, they know this word I use a lot. This is like a jackpot of 10 marks. You have to get 10 out of 10. They will give you five instructions. All you need to do is tell what the instruction does. Do you understand the size of that answer is this much and it gives you 10 out of 10 if you tell exactly what the instruction does. Now students wonder, yeah, if I get move, I'll definitely be able to write it. No, you'll never get move in the exam. No exam is so uh, silly that they're going to ask you move R0, comma R1. What they ask is instructions like this, which looks so crazy that students think, how am I, how am I going to learn it? Yeah, you understand LDR, great. Then comes LDR, H, LDR, S, LDR, SB and so on. LDR, T again asked in the exam and so on. So, uh, there is a way of understanding these instructions. First of all, you have to remove that wall between you and the instruction set. Thinking, oh, AT85, AT86, AD51, those instructions were so simple. Why did they make something so complex? No, this is not complex and they have not made this to torture anybody. They made this because all of these have a purpose. These are new processors. Lots of ideas of earlier processors were, I won't say wrong, but they were immature. As they made new processors, they realized they can do the same thing in far better, more optimized ways. And for that, they've created this instruction set. When you understand what something like this does, you will realize this is so much better than using the age old method that you use in lower processors. The programs work much faster. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not only going to tell you what every instruction is. Come on, that you can pick up from any textbook and get it. I'm going to tell you what is the use of every instruction. Why have they been created like this? How does this become better than lower processors? Okay, so that's the idea. It's going to be the instruction set is going to be done in a series of videos. You can't learn one to seventy all instructions in one video. That's going to it, it, you it, never going to be. It'll never make sense to you. So we've broken it down into several videos. We already have done one video where I have taught you what all these conditional jumps are. If you remember, branch always, branch never, branch if carry set, branch if carry clear, branch if overflow set, and so on. I've taught you. We've done that video. Now this is the reason why I've kept that over here you will need it again in fact you'll need it with every video of the instruction set so all the videos that i'm going to make of the instruction set this part will always be there on the board you'll keep seeing it because you'll need it all throughout anyway so that's what's going to happen in this video now you know what i've been doing uh, this is an introduction you want to watch the whole video please come to my website you want to learn the whole course you want to enjoy learning the subject and not by heart it come on my website www.bharatacharyaeducation.com the link will be given down below uh, all you need to do is register yourself as a user subscribe to the arm course yes there is a cost of course otherwise it won't be feasible for us to do this whole exercise but i've kept the cost ridiculously low something that anybody can manage to pay at the same time uh, keeps the interest of the student and the teacher both intact to conduct this whole exercise anyway the moment you make the payment all forms of payments are uh, accepted it's a regular payment gateway so paytm upi uh, google pay phone pay uh, debit card credit card net banking everything works the moment you make the payment instantly the site becomes active for you you can start watching the videos not only the videos with every video you also get a pdf that pdf is a theory answer that you're supposed to write for that particular question so you understand the concept from the video and then you write the answer based on what you have in the pdf you write the answer from there because many a time students understand the topic but they don't know what to write so you get both so it's basically a one-stop shop you learn the video you learn the answer you're set for that particular topic hope to see you there regardless wish you all the best do well